further ado, I'm going to show you guys some of the equipment that I use. So obviously you need to have a computer. Um, you don't need to have a computer. I should re retract that. You don't actually need to have a computer. Um, you just It's a good idea to have one. What I like about um, using a Mac is that it actually syncs with my phone, but I'm pretty sure that iOS and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, Android and PC can link together through like Google Docs or something like that. So you could actually use Google Docs if you wanted to. And I'll show you that in a minute, what I mean by that. Here's some of the other uh, equipment that I've got. So this is one piece of equipment right here. Hey, how's it going? Um, this is one of the pieces of equipment that I use when I'm driving down the road. Um, this is actually a really cool one if you can find it because this whole thing is made out of like, it's got a piece of metal in the inside, a really high, uh, high strong density piece of metal that's, that's flexible. So I can actually flex it, flex it. Your video, yeah, you know, I mean, I mean, whatever you want to use if you're running streams, but we're streaming on our phone, man. We're not streaming on our, our, our Mac or our PC. We're actually streaming this on our phone. So my phone gets hot, though. Anyway, that's this. This is great for the car or anything like that. Um, this is another thing that I use. It's a tripod. This tripod was about $10. And then on the top, I bought this extra piece because you can rotate from from one side to the other, from landscape to um, the regular one you want. Also, it has all these different adjustments on the back and on the front and on the sides. So it just makes it really easy. It sets up, sets up really nicely. These actually bend, so these can totally bend. So if I needed to put it on an off balance point or something like that, it's very, it's very easy to do. Like you could wrap it around a piece of fencing or something like that, but very inexpensive. And uh, it's great because then you're not having to hold on to your phone the whole time you're doing it or or your uh where did you get the tripod I actually bought the tripod on amazon i've got a couple of these this is actually the uh the smallest one that i have but i like carrying this around because it's just lightweight amazon though you can find it amazon i don't know if you can see this charger charger city is where i got this top part this top part costs just as much as the uh the bottom part so 20 bucks and you've got yourself a tripod a very low cost high efficient tripod then the next thing I bought was a selfie stick so I can look like one of those crazy people walking down the road with a selfie stick right looks kind of like a golf club like a short one but this is the top part works really really well too I mean it folds up so it's small this opens up and closes if you want to do side the side mount view you can do side mount like this you know however you want or you can start it like that usually like when I do my thumbnails which I'm going to talk to you guys about here in a minute I'll actually just hold the phone up here like I'll actually attach the phone into here and then hold it up to whatever I'm taking a thumbnail of. Okay, so do you guys have any questions so far or should I just keep rolling? Oh, what's up, Darcy? My long arm is a selfie. <laughs> well, you're a big guy, so. Um, you know what I'll notice though, is that I did a scope with my friend Dave and uh, my, I, he's a big guy too, and so I had to hold the phone the whole time. What's up, Darcy? I had to hold my phone. I had to hold the phone up the whole time, um, and at the end of our scope, because our scope was like almost an hour long, my my shoulder was just burning. So um, this would have been a lot of help if I would have had it. And this thing costs like not even ten bucks. I bought it at um, where did I get it? I went. I bought. To, I bought this at Ross. Yeah, I bought this and I bought this at Ross. But each one was like ten bucks. Very inexpensive. Uh, you missed me jumping in leaves yeah I missed it sorry about that so yeah so that's that part now let's do a little bit of training on getting set up so whenever I get set up there's a couple of things that I like to do and one of them is I will use the notebook so like you can see here if I use a notebook on my phone this links together to my phone so I can easily copy and paste and I learned this from Chris record actually he was the one that said hey you need to have your headlines set up, pre-set up before you do your scopes. That way they're they're um, they're set up. So just to look here, you have um, so you have one like it shows you right here. It says today's Trump card. Heard the story on Trump because uh, became the comeback king. So basically, I did one. I did a scope on that. Um, I did be competitive. And anything that you see that's like underlined, this is the things that I've already done. Like in the moment, I decided that's what I was going to talk about. 
And the ones that aren't underlined, those are the ones that I, I still need to talk about. Those are future periscopes that I have. And so I've got more, but these were the ones that I kind of just quickly threw together that I wanted to um, get out there right away. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna probably be doing my NLP one just to kind of let you guys know real soon. Uh, that's gonna be the part two. Now the other thing that I recommend you get is, is uh, go to catch.me. And so when you go to catch.me, what you wanna do is, it's real easy, guys. Catch.me is super, super easy to use. Basically what you'll do is you'll sign in with Twitter. And once you're signed in, you'll see your face up on the top here. And then you can, you can see your videos. But what this will do is this will actually catch all of your past videos that you did. So you can see here's a few of the past videos that I've done. And they're easy to delete and stuff like that. Like I, the other day I did one that didn't get finished, so I have to delete it still. But you can kind of see these are all the different these are all the videos I did on Periscope. So it's it's kind of neat that it'll catch all these. And right now I'm doing a hundred um, scope challenge where I need to get a hundred of these out there into the world. But right now, um, you know, just one by one. That's all you got to think about one by one. So right now I've got 26. So I've got you know three quarters of a way to go so, so far. But the, the neat thing about this though is that you don't have to um, go to Periscope and and record it. You're talking about rendering on your Mac. So if I go to, um, let's see here. I, I was doing this a lot too, by the way. I was actually going to Periscope. And right now too, you can go to forward slash whatever your handle is. So let's see. Go to mine real quick. Actually, what will help me is I'm gonna actually use my tripod. So let me get that set up real quick. And then this will just uh, this will just help me out while we're going through this. Cool. So, so I can go to mine right here, and then you can see like right now we're live. So you can see that there's one that's going on live, and there it's actually showing it right now. It's sh sh showing you live. If you have any hearts or anything going on, you'll see them on the right hand side. What's that say? What what uh, multiple Twitter accounts you have? Yeah, you can have multiple accounts for sure. You just have to set up, you just have to sign in with different accounts when you go to sign in. So you can see like this, this is my information. It has a clickable link here now. I, actually, you can't see it. You can see this is my information on the side. This actually opens and closes when you click the Carl button. And you can see up here that, um, right here you can see that I've got a, a clickable button. So this actually goes to my free offer that I give people just for signing up um, with me and also a little bit about me and you can see like live right there we've got hearts going up right now because we've got some people giving us hearts so thanks thank you again for the hearts really shows me that uh, you appreciate what i'm doing for you if i probably switch between scopes accounts my video history after 24 hours disappears yeah yeah so anything on periscope only lasts 24 hours anything that you guys have on periscope this will completely disappear in 24 hours. And I've got the new, I just got my, the iPhone 6S and there's some bugs. That's why I'm having to wear a headset right now um, because I found out that no one could hear you. And, um, and also I'm finding out that it, it was harder for me to link up my, uh, my Twitter account at first. So on, if you notice on my headline right here, I don't know if you can see it, let's see. If you notice on my headline right here, it might, if you can see it, I don't know if you can see it right here, but yeah, it's so weird because it's going picture in a picture. It's hard to see. Anyway, on the side of it, though, there we go. On the side of it, you can see um, where it says at Carl Shuker. I actually had to add that here, and I also had to do pound catch. What happens is after you've done a few, you want to do every time, once you have a catch account set up, you want to make sure that you do pound catch for a little while, and then after that, you don't have to do it anymore. But since this one um, didn't link to my... Um, to my account, I had to do at Carl Shuker. I had to add this in there, but you don't have to do it after you've done it for a while. I like the road mic, start start lava for mobile, cool. Yeah, I was thinking about doing a mic, uh, especially driving down the road, just cuts out some sounds, but I, I've been doing the headset, just the regular iPhone headset, and it's been working out pretty good. So let's see here, how is it? New features on the 6S, heard it was buggy with Periscope. Yeah, it's a little bit buggy. Um, the actually six the iOS nine actually just had another update yesterday, so I did the update, but um, still waiting on a few things. Still waiting for 
the microphone to work. So that's that part. Now what I want to show you is on Akumi's account. So I'm going to show you on Akumi's account, you can see, let me back this up a little bit. So you can see that's my account, right? You can see I'm right up here. And here's the cool thing about this, guys. Look at this picture, okay? I'm actually using a cool thumbnail. I mean, it looks cool, right? It sticks out. That's, that's one of the keys here is that if you want to use a thumbnail that actually sticks out when people are, um, when people go to scroll through here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you what all these buttons mean, what they do, and um, how you can use them for your business. So if you look right here, this is actually all the people you follow. A little TV right here. These are all the people that have followed that are live right now or just had. See, it says recent. So only, only but anyone that I'm following, or that Akumi, I'm sorry, this is Akumi's account, won't show mine, but anyone that Akumi is following, these are the, I'm the only one live right now. You would see more live, and then when you scroll down, you would see something that says recent. How do I set up a thumbnail that is cool? You gotta find a cool picture, man. That's what thumbnails are, they're pictures. So, you know, it just depends. Like, if you can find a, a picture that's something to do with your subject, what I do though is I like to go to Google um, Images and just find images, or like this one was actually a thumbnail on a um, on a YouTube page, and I was playing playing that song "I Can't Stop," just because it's a cool song. Me and Akumi love that song. When we go snowboarding, we listen to it. It's just got a great beat, it's uplifting. It has two negatives, which mean a positive, right? Can't and stop, but it means I can't stop, so it means I have to go, go, go. So it's a cool song, just uh, and it had a really cool thumbnail, so it worked out really well. And it was great for it's great for using for this example. So as we can see here, um, we're going to go ahead and go to this next button, which is the world. What the world is, this is kind of interesting, right? You can basically go and find your area. You can scroll into here and find out who is live. So right now we can see we can see that someone is live up in like Truckee here. It looks like. Yeah, so this person's live up in Truckee. This uh, Ken Kendama Slage Q and A join in, right? They're in Truckee. You can see they got three people online right now, and uh, you can see that someone local is online. Now, as this thing grows, we're going to see people more and more everywhere. We can see who's in Sacramento right now. So someone's in Sacramento. You'll notice that some of the areas that are um, more populated, like LA, you're going to find a lot more. Like the other day. I was actually listening to a concert of a rock band. It was kind of cool. It was like I was at the rock band. So you could see here where you can look and see like, okay, what's going on in Long Beach right now? United Williamton Youth Foundation Scholarship. So if I was interested in that, I could click on that and check it out. Or if I could go, what's going on up here? This is in Beverly Hills. Hollywood Pool Day follow. So let's see. Let's see what this looks like. This might be interesting or it might not be. Let's see. <laughs> so you can see their thumbnail. So it's some chicks. So it's some girls just chilling somewhere. Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's just an example though, guys. So you could go anywhere in the world. This is cool. You can come back here and you can go to, let's say, Europe or um, sometimes in Japan. I, I haven't really seen too many people there, but we can go to Australia. Let's see, Australia. So we can see what's going on in Australia. Let's see what's going on in Australia today. <laughs> this is what's cool. You could go travel around the world. And uh, this guy's got lives. Look at this. Oh my gosh. We've got kangaroos in someone's neighborhood. <laughs> so cool. Hi from Brooklyn. What's up, Brooklyn, New York? Uh, my family's from the Bronx, but uh, I've never been. I was born in Sacramento. So yeah, so that's cool, right? We're looking somewhere at someone's street. It's probably either early in the morning, it looks like. And yeah, <laughs> what's up from Oregon? So these are all people on their scope. It's not mine. I'm like reading other people's. It's funny. It's tricking me. But anyway, so that, that's, that's that as an example. Now you can go to list and list is going to show you as well. Um, I'm not sure how the algorithm works on this. If it's like the closest people to you, not really sure about that. I think what it is, is the, the, the most recent person um, that is actually live. So it goes in that order, I believe. So we can go here. This is, looks like a rock band. This would be kind of cool. If they're a good rock band, you could you could kick it and listen to a cool band. Looks like someone live on the stage doing it, but but it does not sound that good to me anyway. It's not good for my ears. Now over here to the right, you can see this is Akumi's, and uh, on her last scope, which is strange, I think Scope's got a weird thing where they don't give all their hearts because I gave a ton of hearts on her thing. Who'll cool, never noticed the list before? Yeah, it's, it is neat, right? 
Uh, I didn't see the comment on your scope and do not have chat hidden. Um, so yeah, that could be, seriously, that could just be something up with Periscope. I mean, Periscope has bugs. They're still new. Periscope is a new piece of software, guys, that's, that's blowing up. So expect there to be problems probably for a while. Even Facebook, like Facebook rolls out new stuff with their ads platform and then you have, they have issues with it. So it's, you know, it's just one of those things you got to work around. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give you some more tips here. And I think, uh, are you guys following along? Are you guys liking this? Are you guys getting it? Just, are you finding it helpful? Because uh, I want to make sure that I'm giving value here and I'm helping you guys get out of your comfort zone so you can take it further. So before I continue, are you guys finding this helpful? Give me some hard share it, tell me. Put something in the chat, in the chat box. Can you guys chat? Because I'm going to go into more depth right now. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Sweet. All right. I just want to make sure you guys are following along. I want to make sure that this is good for people that are new or trying to get this. Awesome. Cool. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, go into a little bit further. So now I'm going to talk to you guys about this part right here on the very top. So you see her name and she's got a couple of emojis and then she's got her at um, her, her Twitter handle basically more on the thumbnail. I'll talk about that a little bit later. It's the thumbnail thing is not a big deal. It's a simple thing to do. But I'll, I'll get into that here. Just remind me before I get off, and I'll talk more about the thumbnail. Um, we could talk more about titles, too, because I think titles are what, what stick out, headlines. So you can see, like, her name, and she's got, like, a Japanese flag. She's got a Primera flower, which is, her, like, her favorite flower, her name. And then she's got a little crown because she's a princess. And then also she's got the U.S. because she lives in the U.S. She's looking at me funny right now. All right, so then on here you can see this is a little bit about her. Yes, how do you get the uh, emoticons? I'll show you. I'll show you. So you can see here, she's got who, what she does, owner of Toast Tahoe, restaurant, insurance broker, e-com, online marketer, and mom. Born in, the, in Japan, let's, let's get motivated. So she's got some inspiration. That's what she's all about is inspiration. So basically what you do is you go up here to edit. And I'm not going to change anything. I'm just showing as an example. So you can actually click right there, right? And then look down here. You click on this button, and there's all the emoticons for you, all the emojis. Okay? You just can go through and find ones that you like. And you can do the same thing here, okay? Find, go down to the bottom here. Well, I just, I just changed it to Japanese, I think. But you can still find all the different emoticons and very easy. So I'm gonna hit cancel. But you basically would just save that when you were done. What button? Um, so up here, right? This is the little persons button. And then you click up here for yourself. And then up here where it says edit, hit edit. Okay, and then you just click on anywhere, right? I can click and hold it, and you'll see like I can move the cursor. And I'll click on the cursor, and I'll hit this little world globe button on the bottom. And there's all the emojis. So basically, you'll be able to add any emoji that you want right there. But I don't want to mess with the kumis too much. I mean, I can show you real quick. I'll put a top hat. There's a top hat. Now I just erased it. So very, very simple. I'm going to cancel that out. Now on this is kind of like a it's kind of like a dashboard. I heard there's going to be an update on the on the um, website where you can actually see um, analytics like who your best followers are, who gives the most hearts, people that give the most love. And I know for me, like what I want to do is like probably give them something extra just for doing it. So that's something that's going to come out soon. So let's see here, um, following. So you can find out who's following you right now, and you can scroll through here if you're just joining us. Uh, my name's Carl Schuchert, and right now I'm giving just a basic lesson on how to use Periscope, so that way you can get out of your comfort zone and learn. So yeah, yeah, totally, man. I'm gonna do some giveaways for people that show the, show the love. So anyway, um, you can see all the people that are following right here. So you can see Akumi's not following too much. She's pretty new, but she's just you know she's only focusing on following people that um, that she knows or people that inspire her. So we'll go back. And then you could see like followers. These are the people that are following her. It's pretty cool, right? These are the people that are following her. Right now we can't see everyone in Android. Huh, it's too bad. So that must be an Android thing and not an iOS thing. And uh, shows a number after 10. So if you notice when you go to the very bottom, and um, it's not here because she doesn't have as many, but on iOS it'll show I don't know, like a few hundred. And then it just says like, you've got so many thousand more on your account. I wish I could show you that, but that's on mine. So basically this is all the people that 
she that are fo uh, following her. Now she could go back through here and be like, oh, cool, Kirk Stoner, he's following me. I'm going to follow him back, right? And then now she's got Kirk Stoner as a, as a follower. Now I can also look at Kirk's. I can open his up and I can look at his right there just simply by clicking on this. I could see like how many hearts he has, if he's done anything recently. I could find out how many followers he has. I don't know why um, Akumi's sister's calling her. She, she knows I'm using her phone. But anyway, we have here uh, followers following. Um, so basically we go to followers and we can see like, um, so you can see Akumi just recently followed him. So it'll show in that order from top to bottom. And then you got uh, following. These are all the people that are Kirk are, is following. And uh, Kirk's a good guy, so if you guys get a chance, definitely try to follow him. He's got an interesting scope, that's for sure. But he's just a great guy. Um, so basically, you see all the people. And the cool thing about this, guys, I, what I like about this is that I can go, and I can go like, here's Viv, all right? I can go, what's up, Viv? And I can go see who he's following, because I know Viv is interested in some of the same things that I'm interested in. And so what I could do is I can go ahead and just say, you know what, I'm going to start following these people that Viv follow. Like, I, I don't even know why I wasn't following Caleb Maddox. That's weird. But anyways, I can go through and just follow all the people that he's following. Oh, this is Akumi's. <laughs> I keep thinking it's mine. So yeah, I just basically gave, I'll give Akumi some people that I'm following. And that's that. That's pretty simple, right? So you could go ahead and follow. And a lot of times too, these people um, that you're following, if, they're, if they see that they're getting a follower, a lot of times they'll reciprocate and they'll follow you back. So that's one question that I think you might have is like, how do I get more followers? You know, you see people like Chris Records got like 4,600 followers. Um, one, he's a, he's a beast, obviously he's got a great message, he's got a great story, and he's out to teach people how to be better in their business. So that's, that's really important. But the other thing that's important is that, um, is that to know that people reciprocate. So there's a chance that some of those people that uh, when he first got started, he just basically followed other people and they followed him back. And then once he started doing scopes, he started build, building that following. So we'll go back here, and now I'll, I'll talk to you guys about broadcasting. I'm not going to do a live broadcast because it's hers, but what I do is I go into, hopefully I can figure her phone out. Her phone's different than mine. Let's see. Have you noticed that the title cuts short on Twitter? Yeah. It just depends on where it's going. You can't really, um, that's our kid. That's our little Madison baby. You can't really um, worry about that too much. The only thing is you can shorten your title. You don't really have to put at your, you know, your name or whatever, or, um, uh, you know, pound catch. Once you've done catch for a little while, you don't have to do that anymore. Cute. Thanks. So let's see here. Here we go. So notes. So here's where she did a note, right? She did Periscope talk topic, meet Akumi. So basically I would just, uh, select and then I would just copy that. So you're prepared, right? You have this ready and you're prepared. And uh, again, that's something Chris taught me, Chris Record. Um, let's see, then you go to here, go to back to Periscope and say then I was ready. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and push right here and paste. And then I'm ready to rock and roll. Now there's something else you wanna do. There's a little guy right here. You wanna make sure that's on. And if it's on, then you don't have to do the at yourself, okay? If, uh, if for whatever reason it's not working, like on iOS 6S right now, Victory loves preparation, exactly. Perfect preparation means perfect periscopes. <laughs> Just kidding. So, so basically, this is, how you, this is how you do it, guys. Now I'll show you, there's some other things that's neat here. You can, do, you can turn on or off location. So if you didn't want anybody to know where you're at, you could actually turn that on or off. You can lock the scope. You can make it private. So you could say, I just want to scope Dave Robards and then I could just scope Dave Robards, okay? If I wanted to send a message, only users uh, that follow you, actually. So only people that follow me could watch that. So it, it makes it really private if you wanted to. What I think is kind of neat about this too is that I heard they're coming out with a way, yeah, so mutuals. There's a way I guess they're coming out with um, groups somehow. I haven't played with that yet, but it might already be out, but you can actually put groups together. There you are, John. You can actually put groups together and, um, and, and then just put a message to them. So like if you're a sales coach or something like that, you could be like, hey, we're gonna do our sales meeting live on Periscope with our group. And that way it's just between them and no one else. Okay, so now I'm gonna cancel out of that because we don't need to do that. So now if you notice down here, this is some more of the advanced stuff. If you notice down here, you can see broadcast. You open up broadcast, you can see this is Akumi's first broadcast. Now let's say she was like, I don't like this. 
you can swipe over and you can hit delete. Now I'm not going to delete it because it's not mine, but I could delete it from there. So that's just a key right there, like if you mess something up. I love broadcasting my training live. Yeah, I love that you do that too. I'm, uh, I'm going to start broadcasting my training. I was actually asked to go speak at a college up here in Tahoe and teach Periscope. So if that happens, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually, I'll actually Periscope a Periscope training. <laughs> and I did put together a, um, a PowerPoint, so it's a little bit more formal, but this is just so much easier to do. Um, other than that, that's about it. I mean, there's more things you can do about it. I know someone just had a question. Hey, what's up? I know someone just had a question about, um, about the thumbnails, like how to find the thumbnails. So I'll go ahead and I'll do some thumbnail training real quick about that, and then we'll, uh, we'll call it a scope. Right on, man. All right. So let me go ahead and switch this up to this. We've got family here, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this, but what was your lav mix, what you were mentioning before, bars and model? Uh, that was just, a, um, that's just what played up next on YouTube. So yeah, if I go to YouTube, this is just one way, okay guys? So you could do like, like what I did was I did, I can't stop, right? Said I can't stop. If I picked that song. Okay. And then I said this is a great this would be a great one, right? For so I you gotta kinda you gotta set yourself up right. So I'd go ahead and I'd skip this ad. I'd hit pause and then I'd blow it up to a full screen. And then bam, there you go. There's a perfect example of a thumbnail that I just used. And then I like if I can I can open up with music, right? So I've got the music turned down. Right, or if you want, I could actually skip somewhere that's a little bit further. If I want, I can actually go even a little bit further in there and then uh, and put the music in there, which is pretty sick, right? This is the cool thing is like, you can have cool music to start up with and have a, a killer, and have really just a killer uh, thumbnail in your in your message. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. What's up, Kirk? You missed it, man. Just gave a whole training on how to use Periscope for really basics, the basic stuff. Um, yeah, man. Well, you'll have to watch the replay. And I mentioned you, too, man. I talked about you. <laughs> so, so yeah, guys. I What are the questions? I'm so getting into doing this. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. I really hope this helped you out. Uh, do you take a picture or... You video the start of the scope. Well, remember that whatever you're doing is video, even if it's of a picture. That's the statue of responsibility, Carl. <laughs> thank you. That's the, that's the statue, I think you said. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm glad you guys were able to, uh, to do that and um, experience it with me. So the first thing from film becomes a thumbnail. Yeah, whatever you do. Unfortunately, we can catch replays at, at yeah, yeah. Totally. Or you can go to you can go to slapitnow.com and get on my on my list. Um, okay. I'll have to I, if there's a way for you to share that to me, or I'll have to watch the replay. I'm actually outside, not by my computer, but I'll check it out. Oh, there you go. Let's see. We'll go ahead and follow you. Follow. And by the way, that's something else I didn't mention. That anybody that's live, if you click on. Chris is on now, what do I do? Yeah, we'll probably all have to pop off and get on Chris. I'm not going to last much longer. I was on here for a while. Um, cool, man. But yeah, also when you're live and you see someone that says something, that's another thing I want to mention. You can click on their on their uh, their feed and basically you'll see, um, you'll see basically on, on the screen, you'll see their information and then you can follow them right there. So you can start building followers. And, and uh, a good way to build followers too, by the way, is go and find people that are actually giving hearts. Like I would rather follow people that give hearts because they might follow me back and they might give hearts because that's what this is all about, man. This is about sharing the love, spreading the message and giving something of value. I think as long as you give value, people will give you back, will give back. Just give, give, give and people will give you something back. And it doesn't have to be monetary. It, it really doesn't. I mean, I, I always talk about how money is one of the most important things, but it's, it's not money. It's what money gives you. It's what money gets you the experiences and that's where you grow and that's where you learn you get knowledge knowledge 
you can build your character and uh, you're able to get yourself out there and start helping people. So that's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to jump over to watch Chris Record's scope right now. Um, thank you for joining. You just joined us here a little late, but watch the replay, guys. Watch the replay. And, uh, and right now, there's a lot of stuff. If you're looking to get started on Periscope, this is an awesome way to get started. I think this is, if this is what's holding you back because you feel like, I don't know what I'm doing, watch this scope. It'll help you do your first scope. And sure, the first one's going to be a little bit nerve-wracking, but just do them. Do more and more and more and more of them to the point where they're just easy. And I guarantee you it's going to help you in your life, too. It'll help you with speaking with people or people that make you nervous or anything like that. Just It'll help you ultimately overcome some of those, uh, those fears, for sure. Overcoming those fears is a big part of growing. So go out there and do it, you guys. Go out and crush. And uh, thanks for joining me today. And I hope I'll see you all on, a, on another one soon. Bye.